Good morning. Welcome to day 33 of Team Long Runs Getting Started Running video series. Today, we're going to talk about arm carriage or how you carry your arms. Um, again, just all the other running form things we talked about there, there is an ideal mechanical form, but it's going to be different for everybody. Um, as a rule of thumb, you want to carry your arms just slightly more open than 90 degrees. And an important thing to, to pay attention to is if your hands are relaxed or clenched. You can probably guess that relaxed is better. So I like to teach people to just gently rest your thumb on your index finger at about this angle. I've had all American runners run with their arms a little lower and some with their arms a little higher, but everybody ran with relaxed arms. Now, you're going to use your arms to drive when you're sprinting or going up a hill. And your arm swing will directly relate to your stride length. So the harder you drive your arms, the longer your stride length will be. That's, that's just a mechanical thing. One follows the other. Today's stretching, uh, warm-up activity complements yesterday's. Yesterday we did a knee hug march. Today we're going to do a heel pull march. So we're getting opposing muscles. So we're going to walk, pull our heel, take a step. Pull our heel, take a step. So it's a quad stretch. Okay, just like yesterday, I'd say 15 meters out, 15 meters back, take your time, focus on your balance, and get a good stretch. We're going to talk about today's workout a little bit. Um, it's new for you. I learned it from an Olympic gold medalist and, and a middle distance runner, so it, for me it had credibility right off the bat. Um, it's circuits, circuit training. Um, you may already know it, I doubt it. Um, what you're going to do is, I mean, if you recall when you ran your 400s on a clock, this is the running pace we want to base this on. You're going to run just 100 meters, okay? At the end of 100 meters, you're going to do something that develops upper body strength, like push-ups, okay? So do 10 push-ups after that 100 meters. Get right up, run another 100 meters, and do one of the things you've learned that develops lower uh, lower body or leg strength, maybe um, explosive star jumps, okay, maybe just squats. Every 100 meters, stop and alternate between an upper body exercise and a lower body, body exercise and do a total of 10 stations. So five lower body, five upper body. When you've done 10, running 100 meters in between each one, stop and get a full rest. Okay, that's a set of circuits. Try and do two sets and see how it goes. It's, it's really an effective and efficient way to work out. If you don't have a lot of room or if the weather is terrible and you need to do something indoors, this is a great solution. And again, it works magic. We've been doing it for years.